Radical feminine. Free Shavakadu. Grandma got ran over by a reindeer. Today's video is a one, a one, uh, to, yeah. Today we are going to, today we're gonna gain gains and we're gonna lose weight, okay? You guys have been requesting this video. This is a video for sis guys? I don't know. I'm off, I just took a nap. This video is mostly for post tea guys, that's the thing. But I mean, it could work for your pre tea but the thing is when you're pre tea your muscles don't develop as fast, but I'm pretty sure if you follow this, you can still lose a couple of pounds. All right, let's just make this short and to the point. Get it? Because scissors have a point. Yeah. Okay. None of that nonsense. I wanted to start losing weight when I was pre T, so that's when I bought my gym membership at 24 Hour Fitness. When I was pre T, it was super hard to do anything because all I wanted to do is eat. Even though I wasn't hungry, like I had this eating problem where I just like loved to eat and I just like, I could be like about to throw up and I just want like another bite of that cake and shit. So I started going to the gym, but I didn't really know what to do. Uh, I would just do cardio for about half an hour and then do some random shit on the machines, which really doesn't work. Don't try that. Don't go to the gym without a plan, first of all, because you're going to waste your time and most of, the mach mach fuck. most of the machines at the gym don't even like do anything. Just look cool. Sorry. I noticed I wasn't losing weight and I got a lot of dysphoria. It's not like gender dysphoria, but like body dysphoria, where I like just hate fat. I don't know. I hate like when you like pinch your fat and you can just feel it. I don't. It's so. Oof. I cannot. I tried fasting. I'm not anorexic, okay? I read about fasting and how it's supposed to like turn your body into ketosis. 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 There it is. It's supposed to go into a fat burning process where your body like doesn't have the carbs it needs so it burns your fat for fuel, which is what your body should do anyways. I don't understand why it just holds the fucking fat there even though you're eating and then when you get hungry, it doesn't eat itself, it just fucking makes you eat more food. Now if you could donate body fat, that'd be great. I lost about six, seven pounds in five days. But the thing is, I didn't eat anything <laughs> at all. And so my muscles started twitching and stuff and then I felt really bad and really tired all the time and I just like, <laughs> it wasn't a good idea. My mom and sister are very loud, so I ignore that. When I first got on tea, I was 156 pounds. 156. That's a shit look. That's as much as a six foot man. No. That's as much as a six foot fucking teenager, bro. And I don't know. I'm only 5'4", and it's not healthy. So, after starving myself for five days, I went down to 148, and then I like did a really terrible thing, and I just like shoved my face with food. Binged eat it for like 10 days straight, which was, wasn't good for my body at all. So I went back up to 154. Okay, and that is when I came to the point, I'm just like, Maybe I should work on gaining muscle instead of losing weight. So I went on my phone and I did the simplest thing ever. I googled upper body workout for gym. And then I went on like this website like Men's Fitness or something. And they gave me a 28 day upper body workout plan. It was four days a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. You just basically go to the gym for around 30 minutes and it divides it into parts. Like Mondays you do chest and triceps and then like other stuff. I'll give you a link to that and it's they're like really simple. Most of them are free weight exercises, which means they're not machines and those are the most effective way. And it was really easy. The reps are like, it starts at eight sets of eight reps each. And then the next workout would go down. But there's only like five exercises in each workout, which was a fast and efficient way to gain muscle. I started noticing changes in about at like two weeks is hella fast my muscles i didn't really see it yet but i felt a lot stronger and i could i up actually up the weight i was lifting so i started out benching 60 to 70 pounds and now i can bench 100. um it's kind of hard to go every every other day plus saturday so even if i missed a, a day i would just go on the off day and then train again on the other day so 
it, was, it works out. But you gotta make sure you take an off day because it gives time for your body to heal and restore itself. You'll gain a lot of muscle for the workout alone if you're on T. But it's good to add in like a little bit of cardio, maybe 10 minutes, at least 10 minutes of cardio. So I did like half mile to a mile of jogging before my workout. And I would do a 10 minute sauna or steam room like once or twice a week. Another thing for my cardio was I've been, I was playing basketball that month, maybe three to four times a week. So that improved my cardiovascular and like my legs and stuff. But then I got cut, so <laughs> what can you do? The next really important thing to this is diet. You gotta be able to eat clean and healthy. So Safeway, Safeway is where I shop. They have tons of food. You guys probably don't have Safeway where you live. I live in Hawaii and our Vons, I think it's called in California, is called Safeway. You gotta make sure you're eating whole, clean, unprocessed, no frozen foods. It's, it seems hard, but it's actually really simple. You just have to be willing to take a good hour to an hour and a half and thoroughly read your labels and make sure you know what you're buying. Your diet should consist of lots of green and colored veggies. Try to stay away from starchy ones like potatoes and corn. You should be eating a lot of eggs, lean meat, fish. If you're vegetarian or vegan, uh, you could eat. If you're vegetarian, you could eat fish, I think, and eggs, just take out the yolk. And if you're vegan, you could get your protein from soybeans, which is a really good source of protein, and some other stuff that I probably don't know about. You need to stick to low sodium, low carbs. Try to stay away from low fat because it has a lot of carbs. Yeah, carbs are bad. Make sure you're still eating an adequate enough carbs to process because you need carbs for energy. You need carbs to be able to lift weights and do cardio anyways. Make sure you stick to whole wheat or sourdough breads and get a good amount of monosaturated or a healthy fat into your diet, like peanuts or avocados, avocado, shavakadus, peanuts or shavakadus, avocado. You're also gonna want some type of protein, like extra protein for after workouts. So that could be protein, whey protein shakes or protein bars. I really recommend the no cow bar. It's like really good and it's vegan. It's like super low in carbs and it doesn't have any dairy or like eggs or anything. And it's gluten free too, it's really good. But they're like $3.25 a bar, so it's better off you get buy it in a bulk. If you're skinny and you're trying to bulk up, then extend your calorie consumption. But if you're like chubby and you wanna bulk and slim down, then you wanna restrict it. So I went from eating whatever the fuck I wanted to 1,553 calories a day. And I don't know if that's like good for my age or like, I don't know. But hopefully I'm not stunting my growth. It's actually a lot for me. Like if you think about it, if you're eating whole unprocessed foods, you the calories are low and you're eating a lot of food, so it works out. And then my calorie consumption consisted of 60 grams of fat, 110 grams of carbs, and 130 grams of protein. Uh, another handy thing, handy thing that I got was this app called Argets, a calorie counter, and you can log your exercises. Um, it tracks your footsteps, it tracks how much water you drink and stuff, and you just log your stuff. And then it's not like other calorie counters where it just tracks your calories, it counts how much of like what your calories consist of. So it tracks your protein consumption, your carbs, and your fat which is really good. And then you can log your weight and check it. It even checks your heart rate too. And it's, really, it's free for all of those features, but then you can upgrade it to get even more features with like exercises and built diet plans. So that's good. All right, after doing that for about a month, I my muscles, my upper body significantly changed. I didn't realize like how much more I could have got. In. And I think I get even more muscles, but I don't think I want like more upper body muscles. I just want like abs and stuff. Which is super hard for me, I don't know why. Fuck, I like, fuck. I'm burning like 3,000 calories a day, where I was. Now I'm just like, since it's holiday season, I'm just sitting down and like eating everything. I hate body fat. Okay, so now I'm about 150 and I fluctuate like every day. So I'm like 150 to 153. And also, if you're trying to weigh yourself, 
make sure you do it before you go work out because um, after working out, your, your muscles tense up and they build more mass. So it actually makes you three to five pounds heavier than you were if you didn't work out. Drink lots of water. Tea is a good thing also, boosts your metabolism. And water, water also boosts your metabolism. Try to stick to eight to 10 cups a day, it's really good. My cardiovascular shit has improved. I can run half a mile without dying now. I can do maybe 10 chin-ups now before I can do like four. That's really good. My push-ups haven't really improved. I was able to do like 27 push-ups before and now I can only do 30. I mean, it has improved, but like, I expected it to improve more. But my muscles improve. Like, they look really good, but like, they're pretty much useless. Like, they don't even do anything. And some people usually give up and stuff by that, by doing this, but if you're really motivated, like, if you really have, like, if you're really self-conscious and stuff about your body, then it's really easy to, like, stay on track because you look at food, you look at something sugary, and you're just like, Ugh. and it's a really great feeling when you're actually eating healthy and doing, and being active. Like, I don't know, I really love it. Like, I love to eat, and I love getting sweaty and just running, and just, like, I love the pain. Like, I hate, like, sometimes I'm lazy, and I don't want to do anything, and then I go to the gym, and then as soon as I'm done, like I'm dreading the whole thing and I'm just like Ugh. and then I'm done and I feel like I feel great. Super great. Superb actually. Fan fucking plastic. Like your diet doesn't have to be completely strict. Like mine wasn't. I would take like two one to two cheat days a week, which is actually pretty good. Like my cheat day, cheat days weren't like just like one piece of candy either. They were like I'd go to Burger King once a week or I'd eat like a tub of ice cream. Not a tub, but you know, like half a tub. You gotta make sure. You look at your servings, that's another important thing. The rule is, if you can't pronounce the ingredient, then don't buy it. Because you probably shouldn't be putting that into your body. Like, everything works when you change your mindset to look at food as fuel. Food is fuel, it's not comfort food, it's not something to comfort you. Sometimes it can, sometimes it's alright. But it's fuel. Exchange your desserts with protein desserts, like... Protein cookies, for example. They have, um, Buff Bake is a really good one. And most of them taste good. Actually, some of them taste good. Most of them taste like milk powder. Great, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, concerns, um, need advice or anything, just you know, comment me, comment below. I usually answer people. I think I'm doing a good job about that. But um, radical feminists and God people, fuck off. Thanks.